Hey everybody, this is Ken, and today we're going to be doing a showcase, guys, on our brand new chapel, aka church, cathedral, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> it's pretty much completed. I'm just so excited, guys. This thing has taken me months, and it's done. It's finally just here. It's done. I've just finished this, and it just came out so much better than I anticipated. Now, that being said, we had a few goals to complete with this. And I really wanted to just raise the bar on myself to really just push the envelope. Now, one of the main goals here, guys, was to make this as realistic as possible. And not only that, I also wanted this to look amazing on the default texture pack. Because I figured if it looks amazing there, it's going to look amazing with any other texture pack that you put on it. Now, that being said, another goal I wanted to put with this is... It being so gigantic in size, I want it to be also to scale with the player. You ever been to like, you know, you ever seen a lot of people that make like these cathedrals and like the chair on the inside is 10 times larger than the player itself. So it just looks way off or you just look like a tiny kid just running around. And I really didn't want to create that. I want it so that the detail could still be there but also be scaled with the player so you don't lose nothing of both and just create a nice balance between detail and scale. So a lot of times in Minecraft, you either have to make this thing gigantically large to get the detail, or if you make it to scale, there's like barely any space for detail. So it was, it was really challenging for me. So I wanted to push the envelope, create something amazing for you guys. And another trick with all this was to also light up the entire area because I didn't want this to be just complete darkness like, you know, Dracula kind of castle. So as you come here, guys, you're going to notice there is just tons of lighting everywhere. When you come over here and you just look up, you can see all the lighting, but it also goes with the design and the structure. And even outside in mid dark, this thing just looks beautiful. So it really came out great. And I want to know what you guys think in the comments. So let me know if you want a tutorial on this and um, just let me know. Now, another other project that I'm working on as well is a new tavern with a medieval twist. Now, with this, it also has a built-in restaurant and a few floors to boot. So I was really excited about this. I want to make this also larger scale because remember we're dealing with scale i'm tired of having these medieval houses that are super tiny like one block in width the hallways are tiny it's just not happening so with this guys you know i wanted to really open it up make really tall walls and just have a lot of space but also you know once again create a certain balance of scalability now as you go downstairs this is going to be like where you store all your food at and the big freezers. You ever seen like restaurants they have like those gigantic freezers? You know? Where you put all the meats at, all the you know stuff, the perishables, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So right now I'm kind of working with different colors as you can see, and I want to just I guess improve myself. I want to just one up myself. Anyway, now let's go right upstairs to the second floor. As you can see, it's not done yet, but you kind of get the flow. We have this awesome flow of bedrooms all over the place, at least five on the first floor and another way in the back to go straight up as well. Because once again, there has to be a certain flow of energy when you create something. You don't want to be confused just going around and just kind of you know feel awkward. So with this, you know, it was just fun. I wanted to create this for quite some time. I came up, I think I may, probably made this design at least five times. It has to be the six one that actually came out great so very excited for the new for the new year coming up considering it's just in a few weeks so we're gonna have a lot of cool projects coming up and don't forget guys i do have other projects that i'm still working on like the factory now for the third huge project that i'm also working on is this huge victorian medieval style castle now i'm not gonna lie guys this thing is probably the biggest build i've ever made I mean, bear in mind, this is a flat land, and I have this on the bottom right there at level 65. And if you see in the back, there's a beacon going up, and this bad boy is reaching up to 250 blocks in height. And I ain't talking about the dimensions. That's just height level. 
and I'm not even halfway done with this build. I mean, you can see a lot of empty spots, but I want to give you guys a heads up on what I'm working on and just different projects. Now with this one, I'm just super excited. It's my first time making a Victorian style house. So in a real more detailed, more realistic castle. Because on the inside, you have two courtyards that I'm working on. And I managed to even put the chapel on the inside and modify it so that it connects with the entire castle itself. So we have a lot of stuff going on. So as you walk in on the left hand side, that will be the main castle. You know, the throne, the main entrance. Then you have um, in the front here where you put your horses at, you know, like a little parking spot. And on the right here, we have, well, I don't know. We're still working on what that could be, but there's another building area on that side. And as you go to the left here and you go right through this path, right, you got these two side um, stairs leading to the second courtyard. Now, once again, it's all about flow. And I wanted this to be open with these beams right across. So you can see over just enough, right? So that it looks realistic. It looks like it's part of a structure. Now, when you get to the second courtyard, you got this awesome flooring area. It shows different levels of the castle. And you have this beautiful cathedral in this other section here, which I haven't quite created an entrance for yet. But once again, I'm still building it. I mean, it's not even completed yet. Oh, and by the way, I am using Minecraft Edit to really help me out in an expo like this because I'm trying to, you know, I don't want to wait 10 years to create one build, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So you can see how I've really connected the whole build or the castle with the church and how I integrated all that. Now, the floors within the castle are phenomenal. There's plenty of space here to really make a grand entrance and to really add some farms. So this is going to be really fun to create. I mean, I have a lot of space, a lot of flexibility to really make this epic. And this year, guys, we're going to really push it to the next level as far as our builds, designs, etc. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this, right? It was really just a little seep in what future project I'm working on. I don't want you guys to think I was a ghost for too long. I was just dealing with a few things. But um, let me know what you think in the comments. I mean, I have really had a great time making this. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. Remember to please leave a comment and to click that subscribe button if you want to join. Thank you.